Hey everybody, today I want to talk about drones, how we use them in documentary films, uh, the gear we use, and then some tips and tricks that we've picked up uh, kind of along the way. So let's get into it. So first off, uh, these are the drones we're using. Uh, to a lot of people, they're going to think this is a dinosaur. It's the Inspire 1, and we love this thing. It still works for everything that we use drones for. The only thing that we've done to it that uh, is not original is these blades. We've gotten high altitude blades, and then the other thing is upgraded the camera to an X5 camera. Uh, this just gives us chances to use uh, different lens packages, and then um, the filter systems and things that go along with that are a little bit more, um, you can be a little bit more refined. So that's the Inspire. We use a dual operator system. This works. This has been able to match up with any 4K footage we're shooting. It works for how we use it. So the second drones we're using are these uh, Mavic Pros. This is the first version that came out. It does not have all the obstacle avoidance that the new ones do. It doesn't have as great a camera, but as you'll see in a few minutes, the reason is that these do everything we need them to do. The last two things that we use with drones is a lot of filters to make sure that we can uh, dump down the, so there's not as much light going in so we don't have to increase the uh, shutter speed. And then the last thing is this really high tech piece of gear, which is this iPad holder um, so we can get a better picture when we're shooting. So if we're running gun, we obviously use a phone. So now I wanna tell you guys how we use drones in movies. Essentially, there's only a few times that these actually come out. The first is establishing shots. Majority of the time when we use a drone on a film, it's to get a perspective of the story we're trying to tell in a way that the audience can understand the world we're living in. Super simple. It's not really that uh, dynamic. It's just uh, to give a picture of the world. The second way we use it is to chase stuff, whether that's bikes or cars or horses or boats or kayaks or any of those things. It gives us a chance to move the camera with the subject where we can't do it with a car, a UTV, a motorcycle, a four-wheeler, or something like that. So the next way that we use drones is for trailers. We'll fly the drone very close to the ground, create ground effect, and then bring the camera up to reveal kind of something going on in the scene. And the last way we use drones is typically to get a unique perspective. A lot of times these are done for titles, is that we use them in opening sequences because we can create negative space where we can put text. So here's a few tips and tricks that we're learning about using drones for documentary. The first is proficiency. Learning how to fly a drone and learning how to be a cinematographer for a drone are two different things. One is just not relying on the technology of the drone to know how to fly it. Yes, it flies itself, but when things go bad, it's great to be able to go into manual mode. The second thing is understanding how to be a cinematographer, just moving the camera and all those things is one piece of it, but then also the f-stop and exposure and filters and all those different things that go along with that are a whole other skill. So proficiency, proficiency, testing for hours and hours to make sure that we really know what the drones can do, how we're using it, and that we've tested well before we actually use it on set. The next thing is, and it's not super popular, is that nobody really cares about a drone shot. Subconsciously, they may understand that it's a neat, it's a neat picture, but if it's not connected to a narrative or a larger story, it probably doesn't need to be shot. Oftentimes we'll have a drone and we'll, we just don't even end up flying it because we have the story that we've told from a different angle. And I think last is, uh, you know, these drones really do work best in golden hour, in the morning or at night, from our experience. The best light, just like any other cinematography situation, is when that beautiful morning, just contrasty light is up and it's just beautiful and warm. We've learned that that, with good talent behind the sticks of a, of a dual operator, or any of these drones, really is great. So that's how we're using drones. If you have any tips or tricks that you want to add in the comments, or uh, yeah, let's learn from each other on this thing. So Merry Christmas. Hope you guys are having a great day.